This is unit number four, video number one, balancing reactions. Obviously, chemistry is a big, a big part of chemistry is balancing reactions because of the law of conservation of matter. We already talked about law of conservation of matter earlier in the year. Now we're going to implement it. Chemical reactions have to be balanced by atoms and charge. So whatever number of atoms we have on the left side, we have that same number on the right side. We can't create or destroy atoms in a chemical reaction. Nuclear reactions are something, something else. <clears throat> I've got a couple of combustion reactions here. Uh, the first one is butane. Butane's in all your flick lighters. So this is combustion of butane reacting with oxygen, producing carbon dioxide and water. So we're going to balance this. To balance it, we want to make sure the number of carbons total, which this is called our coefficient, we're going to multiply the coefficient by the subscript to get how many atoms are actually there. So the total number of atoms of carbon on the left must equal the total number of carbon atoms on the right. Same thing is true with oxygen and hydrogen. So, in general, you want to balance atoms other than oxygen and hydrogen first. Those two elements tend to spread out in a lot of molecules. So the other atoms will tend to usually be one molecule on each side. Maybe not, but most of the time it will. So here we have carbon. We have four carbons. So we go over here, we only have one carbon. That's not balanced. So I'm, not, I'm never going to change the subscript. Change the subscript changes the molecule. Carbon dioxide is CO2. So to create four carbons, I'm going to have four molecules of carbon dioxide. Now I have one molecule of butane, that's four carbons, and four molecules of carbon dioxide, that's also four carbons. It's just broke up. Now I'm going to go to my hydrogen. Here I have ten hydrogens. Over here I have two hydrogens. I want to make this ten hydrogens. I'm not going to change this two. I'm going to put a five in here because five times two is ten. So now 5 times 2 is 10, 1 times 10 is 10. So I have balanced the number of hydrogens. Now I'm going to go to oxygen. Here I have two oxygens. Here I have eight oxygens in four carbon dioxide molecules and five oxygens in water. And 4 times 2 is 8, 5 times 1 is 5. That's going to give me 13 oxygens. Here I have two oxygens. How am I going to make that 13? I'm going to use a fraction. 13 over 2. Because 13 halves, which is 6 and a half, doubled is 13. Now I have a balanced reaction. You might say, well, I've got halves. You're right. And we can eliminate the halves by doubling everything. So I'm going to go through and say, okay, 2, double 13 halves, we'll get 13. <coughs> 13, double 4, we'll have 8, double 5, we'll have 10. Now it's always good to check on the back side. I could say, okay, let me check. Carbon's over here, hydrogen's over here, oxygen's over here. Carbon's over here, I have 8. Hydrogen's over here, I have 20. Oxygen's over here, I have 26. Now let's go over here, carbon, hydrogen, oxygen. Carbon's over here, I have 8. Hydrogen's over here, I have 10 times 2, that's 20. Oxygen's over here, I have 16 plus 10, that's 26. That's a balanced reaction. So that reaction is balanced in total.